Hey guys, Dennis78382, now boondocking with Dennis. You like those special effects I have? High budget stuff, folks. I'm still in uh, northwestern Arkansas visiting the Phillips family. They go to work every day. I go out and explore. Seems like a fair trade to me. Hey, uh, I got some mail from uh, Tazmod. And a uh, nice card, nice note, and a, and a gift. I believe our friend Rusty78609 calls it a pat on the back. I appreciate it, Taz. I appreciate you and all your positive comments, buddy. And why I got you here, can you hit that button and roll my intro? So I'm going to leave the family farm, go on a little uh, exploration today. Uh, this is uh, Waldron, Arkansas. Population 3,316. And, uh, you know, I love these old storefronts. It would just be so cool if these tiny towns had the funds to just give everything a restoration and get the entire streets like this back to its original look and feel and uh, probably would even become little tourist destinations the they got a lot of neat stuff up front here <laughs> and financing's available so if you want to buy some of that crap you can finance it <laughs> just the pawn shop here that's a unique pawn shop kind of cool I actually forget what this building is but does not look like where Batman's arch enemy would be locked up at. Kind of like a little mini Arkansas Akram Asylum. Is that what it was called in Batman? Arkham. Arkham Asylum. Yeah. Got the wagon there. One of the world's first RV vehicles. That looks like one of those little coal carts. I should, uh, should show this to Tracy and ask him. But, you know, get the miners down to the bottom of the tunnels. A little farm equipment very cool I uh I spotted this little gravel road from the uh, highway and uh, actually saw just a uh, cemetery and uh, I checked out the graves and they're they're kind of new I kind of like the older uh, stones and that type of error but I just thought this was interesting square rock Methodist church and uh, well there's square rock right in front of it aptly named it's got this uh, beautiful uh, old barn and hay bales this is like a postcard right here the mountains in the back arkansas is just beautiful folks um i was really impressed um maybe i should just say um a few more times what do you think these old structures manly this one's all overgrown like someone needed this building someone put a lot of time and money and care in constructing these buildings it was an absolute essential uh, for whatever life they had going and now they're just overrun and unused and I'd really like to know the history of each building and the people that live there and you know what happened they did they give up farming did the building become obsolete um, I just find these uh, interesting and then further down the highway I spotted this uh, kind of back in the woods the there's you know cemeteries are usually open fields and uh this one had a big open area with no graves but you can spot confederate flags on some of these graves and those were confederate soldiers there's one on the left there and uh, most of these graves are uh 1850 to 1880 for the most part and there's some newer ones mixed in family members but uh, I love the history of cemeteries. I unexpectedly came across this Trail of Tears historic route marker. Uh, the Trail of Tears involves several routes through the southeastern United States, 
basically the United States government uh, forced Native Americans off of their land, uh, forced them to march to designated Indian territories. Uh, hundreds of thousands were moved. Tens of thousands died along the way. Hence the name uh, Trail of Tears. Um, Cherokee, Chickasaw, uh, Choctaw, um, numerous tribes, Seminoles, uh, were all forced to leave their uh, homeland and their slaves. Many Native American tribes had black African slaves. They kind of leave that out of the history books uh, for us. But um, this part of the trail is a uh, dirt and gravel road. They left it that way. I, I'm glad they did. It gives you a, a real sense of uh, the area. And there is there is a presence here, guys. Uh, just driving down that dusty trail that, you know, no one passed me coming or going. And, um, yeah, there's something to it. History. All right, guys, we're just getting into Prairie Grove, Arkansas, right up in the northwestern corner of the United States, not too far from Oklahoma and Missouri. What does that fence make you think of? Whenever I see a fence like that, I think the Civil War era. And uh, that's appropriate because we're at uh, Prairie Grove Battlefield Park. Uh, there was a Civil War battle here December 7th, 1962. I was just a kid then, but um, Union forces clashed with uh, Confederate forces here. Pretty much a standoff. This is a rarity in battles where the Southern forces had more troops. The Southern forces received more casualties and the Southern forces retreated from the field. Um, there was a what 20,000 uh, troops total from both sides and um, about 2,500 uh, casualties so about 10% and that doesn't include the people who received injuries where they could still fight on back in those days you know <laughs> getting shot wasn't necessarily a casualty you know back in the day but um, the battlefield is pretty much uh, preserved as it is. It's a small park. It, it doesn't uh, encompass the original battlefield entirely, but um, it focuses more on the people that were here, the houses that were already here, and you wake up one day and there's a major battle right in your front and backyard. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. It's part of the Pea Ridge campaign, and uh, if you get a chance, I highly recommend it. I do want to check out the visitor center. This is the uh, visitor center and museum. It's uh, at the entrance, the main entrance of the battlefield. Confederate flag there. Oddly enough, at this park, and I could be wrong, I did not see one Confederate battle flag. And uh, if you can't fly a Confederate battle flag, at a, a Civil War battlefield? That just seems a little wrong to me. I'm from uh, I'm from up north, but I don't know. It just it's odd. It's history. It's there, good or bad, probably both. But they have a really nice uh, displays here, and uh, it's a nice little. Uh, representation of what went on here in Prairie Grove. I also did not see any outdoor cannon here, and I know there's a lot of Pea Ridge north of here, and I will have to check that out next visit. But, um, yeah, I've never been to a Civil War battlefield without cannons and a Confederate battle flag. But this uh, painting is something. Uh, it was commissioned for this museum. And uh, those houses right there are the ones we drove by and filmed earlier. It's really something that gives you an idea of the carnage that went on. 
very nice to see this stuff firsthand. You shouldn't hide history, in my opinion. Time to head back to the farm, guys. But um, I had uh, asked Leah Phillips about this place. It's in Mansfield, Arkansas, maybe just a mile or two from the farm. It's called uh, Spur Lake. And uh, from what I understand, all the land around the lake is privately owned, so you can't come fish, swim, or hang out here. Um, but I figure it's a public road. I can at least look at the water. It's, uh, it's a gorgeous day. You can check out that sky. Lots of clouds, but, man, it's gorgeous. Check out that reflection in the water. Dolphin! Yeah, there's a slight breeze, but I don't even see a ripple out there. They got uh, some homes here on the left. And just these uh, gorgeous views. Everyone's got their own little dock or pier. Some comfortable chairs, tables. I bet you they uh, have some small fishing boats. I bet you the fishing's pretty good here. You know why Noah didn't fish much? He only had two worms. <laughs> You know, you should always play music when you're fishing. You know, something catchy. That's it, folks. I'm done with fishing and lake jokes right now. This is nice and mellow here. I can see just sitting out here in the morning or the evening, cup of coffee, two fists of Jack Daniels, whatever you wanted to, you know, sip on to relax you. Just enjoying the view. Well... I think they need a little dock work there. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's got a little covered area. There's a nice little swing, swing seat. Yeah, this would, this would be the life out here, wouldn't it? The little barbecue pit there. Just come out and relax. And you could, This has probably been in use for hundreds of years. It's very nice. They got all their, their little fishing boat and some toys over there. Let's uh, let's head back to the farm. See what uh, Lee is cooking for dinner tonight. That's the old barns behind their house. I'm going to go inside, guys, and relax. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Well, guys, if you made it this far, thank you. Good for you. On July 15th, I posted a video uh, titled... 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, if you go to that video, in the comments section, anywhere, put the word SURF, S-U-R-F, and uh, you can win a uh, any t-shirt they have in stock from the um, Texas Surf Museum. But check out that video, not on this video. You have to go to that video, leave SURF in the comments section, and then uh, the next video I post, we'll have a winner. Thanks, guys.